Hi YouTube, um, this is Tigress Scourge. I want to apologize for the crummy quality of this video. It's uh, currently 3.23 a.m. where I'm at, and I'm pretty sure this marks day three of my In Search of the Perfect Fursuit series. I skipped day two because I'm awesome. So, I've started foaming. I finished the basic skeleton of it. Here's the lower jaw. Just fits together like this. Um, um, um. And I ordered some uh, swatches from Mendel's. I want to do a teal base with orange highlights and coloring with uh, black down here around the eyes. And I'm trying to do uh, realistic, but I think, I think the inner tune inside of me has tried to make it not so yeah. much. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on and demonstrate what I fixed. There we go. I made the mouth work. It's pretty cool, right? I know it looks really creepy, but... <sighs> I'm not gonna put anything right here, just so that way I can breathe out the hot air. All that it is on the lower jaw. That for day. It just rests on my jaw right there. <sighs> well, like I said, I'm just still waiting on my swatches from Mendel's. Um, I live in Arizona, so that's probably going to take a little while to get here. Or I can't. I can't imagine it'll be more than three or four days, though. But after I do, um, I went down to where I used to work. And I got my last check, and it was for a pretty good sum of money, and I'm going to go ahead and use that to buy all the fur that I need. God, I'm excited. I don't know, I, I think this is starting to turn more into a, a V diary than it is anything. More, not just in search of the perfect, perfect fursuit, but more like a, a blog of things. Oh, and in case you couldn't tell, this was supposed to be um, a very slim wolf. I'm thinking a maned wolf. I'm not sure if I want uh, Atrocity to have a mane or not. I'll give. I'll get a link to uh, what he's going to look like for the most part, except for the mane. I'm still debating on the mane. I'm not sure. But that it all depends on what kind of fur I get when it comes here and when I buy it. And all the swatches. If it's, if it's longer than two and a half inches, then I think I'll go ahead and do a mane. But if it's any shorter, there's no way. Well, I, I guess I could pat it. Padding sounds like a good idea, but I'm going to do digigard legs. Or uh, digigrade? Yeah, the ones where they. It, from the side it comes down and then it comes back down. Hold on, hold on. Like this. Then you have the foot pads. Yeah. I saw uh, Matrices, uh, and I'll put a link to that in the description too. Matrices actually has a really good tutorial for digigard. Uh, digigrade? I keep pronouncing it wrong. Please correct me. Someone! Uh, she has a really good tutorial for those kinds of legs, and um, it includes a foot paw tutorial with it. I'll include a link to her site. The only thing that I don't like about hers is that she does them toony. And I'm not sure, It all, like I said, it all depends on the fur I get if um, it's going to be toony or realistic. Ultimately, I want to shoot for that weird middle ground in between, but I know that's not always possible. Alright, well, um, it's 3.30 now, and I really should be off to bed. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you guys later. Not that anybody's watching. <laughs> Bye.